Welcome back. The UND hockey season is officially underway, and Brad Berry's team will be in the spotlight here on Midco Sports tonight on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for give or take the next six months. So for the rundown on how North Dakota fared in their first series of the new season, here's Alex Heinert in Grand Forks. Thanks, Kelly. Yes, college hockey season is here across the country, even in the 49th state. UND making the long trip to the last frontier of Alaska this past weekend for the first time since 2012. And they'd have a test on their hands against a scrappy Sea Wolf team. Beautiful scenes around downtown Anchorage. Big thanks to our producer, Darren Lean, for making the long flight there and back. Alaska Anchorage traditionally tough at home, even though they were picked to finish last in the WCHA. You see the goaltender there, Olivier Mantha, he had a big weekend. Cam Johnson, though, instrumental in keeping his team in this game early. Only 15 saves on the night for Cam. A big one there, though, to keep it nothing, nothing. Shane Gersich, a beautiful opportunity here to give UND the lead. Somehow, the leading goal scorer on this team cannot bury that one from point blank. It remains scoreless through the first period. Middle of the second, though, North Dakota gets on the board. Great puck movement here. Christian Milanen finding Johnny Simonson at the back post to bury that one past Mantha. Watch it again. Tic-tac-toe from Olsen to Willannon to Simonson, of course, his first of the year. That made it 1-0 halfway through the second period. North Dakota had a ton of chances to extend the lead in this contest, but it would be Anchorage getting the next goal right at the death here with a minute 15 remaining. Jordan Xavier getting his first career goal for the Seawolves to make it 1-1. One one. Not much Cam can do about this right between the dots. Xavier beats Cam glove high, and that sends it to overtime. Nobody would score in 5-on-5. Five or three on three, so it officially goes down as a tie. We go to a shootout though, just for fun, and nobody's better at this than Austin Pagansky, the backhand that we've seen him go to so many times over his career, able to give UND a little lift, even though it goes officially down as a tie. Pagansky giving them the win, quote unquote, at least in the scorebook. Not the result UND was looking for in the season opener, but it is certainly one that the number 17 in the nation can build on. Here's what the guys have to say. I thought a lot of people played hard. Uh, our energy and, and our effort was there tonight. It's it's just the, the little bounces weren't there, and uh, you know that's a good sign because you know we know we got a we got a hardworking team and everyone's everyone's playing for each other. Obviously, the ice was a little bit tough, as you can see by some of the bounces that uh, that came our way. Um, but overall, it's early in the year. There's no need to hit the panic button now. Uh, we did a couple little things right. It's just a matter of bearing down and uh, scoring goals when the time comes. We have to learn how to close out games. You know, we're going to have plenty of games in our conference that are going to be one goal games going down to the, the last couple of minutes and that's something that we're going to have to learn as a team throughout the year. Yeah. Fast forward to Saturday night and game two between UND and Alaska Anchorage. Good look there inside the Sullivan Arena and, and for this contest North Dakota again had a tough time getting by the senior goaltender for the Seawolves. Look at this save by Olivia Mantha. He'd make 42 on the night. None better than this reaching back across the goal mouth. Another golden chance that Mantha able to deny UND on. But again, the Fighting Hawks would hang in there and eventually good things would come. Midway through the second period, Matt Kerstead, the freshman defenseman, sliding up into attack, getting his first goal of the season. That made it one nothing on a delayed penalty call. During that penalty for UND, Colin Adams, another freshman, roofing one past Mantha. Have another look here. Great patience from the freshman from Michigan. Stick side this time to make it 2-0. That goal coming just 40 seconds after Kirstead's goal opened the scoring. But again, those Seawolves pesky all weekend with fire right back. Jeremiah Lutke off the turnover, able to beat Cam on the breakaway. Just a little chip shot up and above number 33, 2-1 after two periods. Closing minutes now, actually halfway through the third period, another fortunate bounce for Alaska Anchorage and Nicholas Herb Eckholm able to beat Cam as well to make it two to two. Second game in a row, UND surrenders a late advantage. Go to overtime in this one, but UND would not require the shootout to get the points tonight. Casey Johnson, the sophomore defenseman, what a time for your first career goal, able to beat Mantha. Great dish here, the sauce pass from Cole Smith finding Johnson, and there's going to be your final. 3-2 to two in overtime. North Dakota officially picks up their first one on the season. Shots on goal heavily slanted in this one toward the visitors. 45-16 to 16 for UND. All three goal scorers notch their first career goals. None bigger, though, than Casey Johnson's overtime winner. Well, I uh, just jumped on the ice, and uh, Smitty was walking up to the blue line, and I saw an opening uh, down on the circle and just kind of threw it short side and luckily went in. We played on really these past couple nights. We just haven't been able to score, um, you know, and 
Those are the toughest games to play, and when, you, when you're dominating them and they come down, get a bounce, and end up scoring a goal and tying it up there late again. But, you know, we found a way, and that's, I think that's a big, big building point for our group is, you know, we were able to come together and find a way, and that was huge. We need it. Just getting started with a recap of the weekend for UND Hockey, Brad Berry joins us next when Midco Sports Tonight returns.